greetings everybody um, welcome to my channel today uh, my name is Chekube Madichie and just like I have uh, promised in the previous post that the next time I'll be posting a video it will be on simulation macro modeling and simulation and today I have uh, I've brought to you here uh, another video that we show you some tips on how to estimate a system of equations and of course um, simulate the endogenous variables as we have on the screen here we have the uh, three equations uh, equation of hc uh, i and uh, r so this system of three equations has uh, three endogenous variable h c i and r these are the three endogenous variables while we have uh, endogenous exogenous variables as y and uh, m2 while the remaining ones the lag variables are the predetermined predetermined variables as we all know now we want to estimate this system of equations where we have the structural parameters the beta parameters the alpha parameters and the theta parameters they are called the structural parameters we want to estimate these and simulate the endogenous variables so here in our if you work file we have created a work file on the name simulation 01 as you can see um, the starting point to this uh, project is to create an a system object we go to system and create an object name uh, a system object can go to objects you move to new can click on system uh, you may decide to save the system with a uh, macro okay and save it with macro here we have an environment called the system environment from where we can uh, type our uh, equations of course we don't have time to begin to type the long process we can just paste the equations because i have already copied them um these are the equations of course this is based on the language if you can understand now instead of having beta zero we have uh, c1 uh, the the parameters count from c1 to c16 okay remember that the first equation in the original equation we use beta parameters for the first equation and alpha parameters for the second equation and theta parameters for the third equation but here we are using c parameters from c1 to c16 which shows that we have 16 structural parameters now we are going to estimate these uh, equations uh, using a uh, OLS you can go to estimate uh, here in this dialog uh, environment we can see ordinary least square we decide to estimate now we have estimated this uh, model you can expand so that we see the full result of this model now this is the estimated equation one this is the estimated equation 2 and this is the estimated equation 3 so what do we do at this point at this point we uh, go to make model uh, because we want to solve this uh, we go and make model okay we go to make model go to probe move to make model in the make model uh, dialog box what are we going to do we decide to link our estimated system of equations with the model uh, with the model of course you can see what we have here uh, here we can link it okay can link all we have estimated 
uh, let us expand this so that we see the whole thing here uh, this is the full representation of the system estimated system of equations so what we do at this point is to uh, solve this model the process of solving this model is called simulation so you can see solve okay uh, here we uh, for simulation we have two ways of simulating we have the out of sample simulation and in sample simulation now what we are going to do is an is called in sample simulation where we simulate the zone the sample we have at hand and not trying to uh, simulate out of what we have okay and there are two types of simulation for this very uh, in sample simulation we can have deterministic simulation and um, uh, stochastic simulation now we are going to start with deterministic simulation and here we can put it on static simulation and here we can add our sample range of course you can see the sample range and we go to solver and choose a solution algorithm we click uh, choose this very one um what else can we do uh, we can now solve the model now the model has been solved and um, of course you can see uh, information from the model we have solved and uh, for this very uh, reason we have we have some added uh, variables in our work file here um, a repeat of our actual variables but here we have a uh, baseline variables added to the work file which are which is we, which are the forecasted values okay now what do we do we want to make the endogenous graph okay we want to make the endogenous graph so that we'll be able to compare the simulated uh, the baseline and the actual values what do we do we click on probe we move to make graph uh, we move to endogenous variables of course you can see what i'm doing endogenous variables we leave it at group by model variables we include actual uh, what else can we do what else can we do what else can we do we click ok now this is what we have found here uh, let us uh, name our graph endogenous graph uh, this is what we have been able to find here you can see our uh, household consumption HC you can see there is a closeness between the actual and the baseline HC the, between the actual and the forecasted value they, are, they share a very close link okay and uh, you can also see uh, 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 before 1995 we can see the, a, a kind of closeness between uh, baseline and actual until we have a breakup here and of course you can also see this very one so this is uh, the simple procedure uh, we can always apply when we are estimating a system of equation and of course trying to simulate so this is the simulation i have promised you people and i hope this video is helpful to you all um, uh, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel uh, what I am doing here is for free and because it is for free the only way you can actually appreciate what I am doing if what I am doing is useful to you is to subscribe to my channel so